Hey, this is Lady, and today I am here to do a book talk. In today's book talk, we will be discussing Jubilee by Margaret Walker. I am very excited to do this book talk because I did this book talk um, as a buddy read with Monica. I'm going to put her information below. She is a YouTube booktube newbie like myself. And when I first um, did a library haul and I mentioned this book, she was like, I just purchased that book um, not too long ago. And I was like, well, how about we read it at the same time? So we did. We both read it in a little over a week's time. And we messaged each other back and forth about our thoughts about the book during while we was reading the book. And I thought it was very fun. I really enjoyed Buddy Reading and I look forward to doing more Buddy Reads with her. If you are not subscribed to her channel, like I said, I'll make sure to put a link to her video because we're both going to upload our thoughts on this classic. Okay, so here we go. Jubilee is a slave narrative written by Margaret Walker. Margaret Walker is discussing or telling us stories from her grandmother, Vary. Vary was a slave born to a slave woman and her father was her slave master. Throughout this book, we are going through Vary's life and all of the things she encountered being a slave in the pre-antebellum South and during the war and after the Civil War, during the Reconstruction. To say I enjoyed this book or love this book is just an understatement. I, after reading this book, I have come to realize that slave narratives and historical fiction may be up there like my top two favorite types of books to read. This book, it covers a long span of time and it gives you an opportunity to really get to know each and every one of the characters. I think Margaret Walker did an extra, excuse me, an excellent job with giving us a complete story. Not only did we meet Vary, but we met all of the characters that's on this sleigh with her. From the master to his wife, his kids, um, Vary and the kids that she have and the men that she's with, the house slaves as well as the field slaves, the um people who help run the um, slaves while the master is out. Just so much stuff. Um, Vary is a strong woman. That's what I liked about this book. She was a strong woman in a time where she didn't necessarily, you know, she had to be. And I think that's this shows to me, this is the type of woman that we come from as African-American women. Vary, she... At the age of seven years old, she goes to work in the big house. And while she's there, she has to deal with the fact that she is the daughter of the slave and his wife knows it. And she knows that the Missy, the, you know, the people that she works for is actually her family, but she's not as acknowledged. And that is, just thinking about that, you know, is really chilling to me. She told a lot of stories. Some stories that just had, you know, the hair on the back of my neck standing up. Just thinking about what it would have been like to been thought of as, you know, not human, subhuman. And that just was baffling to me. Margaret Walker, she was actually born in Birmingham, Alabama, where I live. And throughout the book, this takes place starting out in Georgia. And then there is times where the character, she ends up in Alabama. A lot of the counties in, um, that were mentioned are still actual counties today in the state of Alabama, which was great. Um, some other things that I thought were great was how vivid Margaret Walker was in her description of each character. I thought she did a great job, like I said, in introducing every character. And by the end, we knew 
what happened to each character. We knew, you know, and we could have an idea of how their lives ended up after the war. My favorite part of the book was the ending. About the last 50 to 60 pages was just amazing to me. It was a culmination of Viri telling her story. And there's a point in the book where she gives us, I, I would guess, somewhat of a speech. And it was just, oh, it just made me love her. And it made me love the characters. I was going through the book. It's a pretty long book as you can see almost 500 pages but what I liked about it in the beginning I was just going through reading it reading it just devouring every word of it and then as I realized I was getting close to the end I was like slowing down on purpose because I really wanted to not let these characters go if you're looking for a book that is great historical fiction, a slave narrative, something different than you have ever read, you should read this book. The stories in this book that Margaret Walker tells us that was told to her from her grandmother, it's just amazing. I can't believe, you know, our people went through these things. Well, no, I actually can believe our people went through these things because I have studied a lot of this and I feel like this is American history. This is not just a black history, but this is American history. And I would strongly suggest you all check this book out. And again, check out Monika's book talk on this book. See what she has to say about it. And I hope you enjoyed this review or no, this book talk. I'm no professional. Hope you enjoyed this book talk. And this is Lady. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Being the wife of the slave owner and you know this. Who is it? Who is it? Hey, hey, who is it? Kevin, don't do that.